G'day, welcome to episode 333 of Trent 365. Today is Tuesday the 30th of October. Greetings from Bali once again, back here in Bali for a, a couple of days of meetings. Hanging out over here with my, my new little buddy. Um, bit cool, bit freaky too, but a bit cool. For those of you on the podcast, I've got a little towel man that was created by the hotel folks here when I checked in, so kind of weird. Um, look, the thought for today is to own your own shit. Basically own the mess that you've made, own the mistakes that you've made. And this has come on the back of hearing about how Google has responded to the Andy Rubin fiasco. For those that don't know, Andy Rubin was the guy with Google who basically was responsible for the Android system. So he was a big deal. Now, a few years ago, there was a bunch of allegations of sexual misconduct that was kind of kept quiet. He was let go, but he was also paid a settlement of $90 million. <clears throat> now, the news of that has just come out in recent days. And of course, people are up in arms about it. Now, Google's response to it was to come out and say, actually, since that, there's been another 48 cases of sexual misconduct where we've also fired people. And 30% of those were senior exec type folks. And of course, some people are saying, well, why would you do that? Why don't you just cop the Andy Rubin fiasco on the chin and the way you've handled that and say that you're taking it seriously and you're gonna make, make amends. Um, but what I like about the way they've done it is that the new CEO has basically said, listen, we do take it seriously. We are gonna basically put a flag in the ground and say no more, this is it. And as part of that process and part of that transparency, we're saying, look, we do take it seriously. This is how serious we fired a bunch of other people. And I think the lesson in that is that if you do want to make significant organizational cultural change, you have to make a big statement like that. You have to do it with, I think, with a bang. I don't think you can do it in stages and phases if you really want to make a, a massive turnaround from a bad culture to a good culture or a positive to it, whatever it is. If you're going to turn around a culture, I think you've got to do it with a bold statement. And I think what, that's what they've done. Now, as a result of that, they're gonna cop a fair bit of flack today and in these early stages, but I think maybe in the future it's gonna pay them back because they're gonna take the hit now, they're gonna own it now, and then hopefully they can then get on, move forward, and then life is rosy from there on in. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. I mean, there's supposed to be a walkout of Google staffers coming on Thursday, I think, people protesting the way they've handled the whole sexual harassment stuff. So again, there's gonna be a fair amount of flack early on, or at least in the initial stages of this. But I do think, again, for the benefit of making long-term cultural change, I think it's the right move. What do you think? Let me know. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. I wanna own